Hey there. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk to you um, uh, just a brief introduction of um, or to the quadratic formula. Uh, this is going to, um, I think you're going to enjoy the quadratic formula um, because it's going to help you out and maybe save some time uh, when we're trying to solve quadratics. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to talk to you about um, um, what we kind of already know, what we learned in the previous sections in this, in this module. Um, you know, one important um, thing we saw in one, some of the first problems we did in, in the first section is we maybe solve problems like that, x squared equals 9. Now, when you had problems like this, you just went and solved it algebraically because you knew how to do that. Um, so you probably took the square root of both sides and you said that x is going to equal either a plus or minus 3. All right. Um, the visual of that, if we want to actually look at the graph, would be something like this. If we had a quadratic, okay, which means that little squared means that it's quadratic, so that's kind of what we've been studying. Um, if we take a graph, and this is called the parabola again, and you've probably talked about, you've seen that in previous videos. Um, this parabola right here will, will have that shape anytime we have that squared right there. Okay. So what we're searching for in this, this plus or minus 3, is we're searching for these points right here where our graph crosses the x-axis. Um, and in this case, it's, you know, the plus or minus 3. So we got our 3 and our negative 3. I know my graph's pretty, you know, generic there, but that's what it, you know, essentially looks like. Um, so that's what you're doing. And, and when you have, when you just have the x squared, solve it algebraically, okay? Best way to do it. But then um, you probably saw some... Um, um, equations that might might have looked like this um, x squared minus 2x uh, minus 3 all right and we had to solve these and we would say maybe equals 0 or equals um, y um, I put a y there we'll talk a little bit about the zero as well um, but when we have this you'll notice that we have the x squared here but the problem is we also have an x so we have an x squared and an x and that makes our lives more difficult it's harder to solve it algebraically we can but we haven't showed you how to do that yet. Um, so the best, the, the way we've showed you how to do it first is the visual, the graph, which is really, really important. So this graph, real quick, you'd actually, what you would do is you create an xy table, all right, and you you know plot your points, and eventually you know you're searching for you know the x-intercepts again, um, and your parabola would look maybe something like this. It's, it's pretty close, but um, we would have a root here and a root here, and again these are called the roots. Okay, I don't know if I just said that, but uh, those are the roots right there. Okay, just like these are the roots over here. So essentially what you're searching for is your x-intercepts or your roots. Um, so that's what you know how to do. Okay, and we're probably pretty good at this. Okay, not too bad. We can graph the points and we can find the roots. The quadratic formula will make your lives easier because you won't have to graph it. Okay, you can solve uh, any quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. And here is the quadratic formula. Um, it is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And I could write equals x right here. All right. Um, so that's the quadratic formula. It did derive for, from something, and we'll show you how to do that later. Um, not too concerned about showing that, that to you yet. But this quadratic formula, what it will do is it will solve any quadratic um, equation for you. In some of the uh, next videos I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play for you, I'm going um, I'm to show you how to solve some of these um, and how it works. But just know that this is it. Okay, I actually have a student from um, previ a previous uh, year create a little video on it and you can obviously listen to that. I think you've listened to it already. Uh, but uh, there's a lot of songs out there. If you actually Google quadratic formula songs, you can hear a lot of people have made songs up about the quadratic formula uh, just to help them remember uh, what it is. So maybe go check out some songs and um, definitely memorize this. You should memorize this formula. Um, so again, this is um, this will help us solve any quadratic. And again, I say it equals the x here um, because again, the x's or the x-intercepts, we're searching for the roots and that's what it will tell us. So thanks for watching. You'll see some, some of it in later videos how to use it.